Hello and welcome to Negative Feedback. Today I am rejoined again by Dan and we're going to be doing a little comparison where we swap our favourite cameras. Mine is the Mamiya 7 with a 65mm f4, which is more of a wide angle lens, it's about the equivalent of 32mm on 35 And my camera here is a Pablo Makina 670. Uh, it's a fixed lens, 80mm 2.8, so normal for medium format. It's collapsible, which is fun. And uh, the lens is actually made by Nikon, even though the camera was manufactured by a German company. A lot of fun to use. And we both have a roll of Milford HP5 to put through these. So we're running out of light, and it's a pretty dark winter's day. So we're going to be shooting, well, I'm going to be shooting my HP5 at 1600. Same here. So I guess we're going to both do the same thing. Um, Should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> How does the meter work? No, I see 500 in here. So that'll be telling you your shutter speed. And then it's blinking. And that will tell you what it should be. Okay, so it's... So whatever one it's on is what you've got it on. And whatever is blinking is what it should be. So we're both going to take a picture of Harry here. We're going to use the same settings to give you an example of how both cameras perform. Okay, look straight towards me. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's better now. <laughs> Double wind every time. I'd love to get a slightly better angle on that. Wind this camera, different to the other one. Keep messing up. <laughs> now what I'm doing here is stealing George's shot. Uh, it's a it's a well-known photographic it, technique. It's called a comparison. This is a single stroke wind. Uh, which should, in theory, be easier than the double stroke, but I don't know, I find this a little difficult to really? move around all especially the way. Yeah, hands numb. yeah, especially when I can't feel my hands because it's so freezing. So this lens actually goes down to f2.8, which is a stop lower than the f4 and the Mamiya. So I'm going to give this a test now to see if it's worth that extra stop and whether it looks nice. So can you stand just after this tree on the big leaf that's directly in the middle of the path? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I just want you to look straight towards me. What I'm doing is that as people are walking past this shop, there's this light which glows on the side of their face. I'm going to try and capture that. So I focused on one of these leaves, which I think is where I'm going to take the photo. And I'm waiting for someone to walk past, and I'll try and take it as they walk past. I think it might be out of focus. I tried. It was a good concept. <laughs> but I think it was out of focus. I went for someone that was further that way, so I think it was further away in total. Oh well. I need this bus, the light to change. Yes.
prefer the Mamiya. And I don't think that's necessarily saying that it's a better camera. I just think I prefer that wider focal length. And they do make a wider version of the Makina, but being locked into one lens is slightly less of a benefit for me. I do think the lenses on both are outrageously sharp. The 2.8 on the Makina is amazing, but it's not something that I would tend to use personally, but that is a big benefit of it. I have to say, the build quality in the Makina is quite a lot nicer. You do have to be careful with the bellows, but the brass body over the plastic on the Mamiya just is much nicer. And the ability to collapse it, it just is better to travel with. We are thinking of making a proper in-depth review on both cameras, so let me know if that is something that you would be interested in. Also in other news, the Zine Kickstarter is finishing in five days from now, so if you haven't got one yet or put yourself down that you want one, you have five days left. Uh, it's gone ridiculously amazingly, still a bit lost for words. Stuff is happening with it, it's in production, there's going to be some cool things happening which haven't been mentioned yet, so stay tuned for that. Um, thank you for watching this, I hope you enjoyed it. There should be another video this week, I'm just about to start editing that, so see you soon.